Hey guys, it's the RV guy. I'm gonna do a really short video on how to clean a check valve and how to check what's going on with it. This is one of the most common um, water pumps. So first off, what is a check valve? A check valve basically means that we have a little arrow on each pump. So it means water's coming in from here and going out from here. If that little check valve doesn't close, then water will keep on going back. Why does that matter? So, if you connected to your city water, uh, you know, city water is connected in this area, and you come in and suddenly your fresh water tank is getting filled up, it's because this little check valve is not closing and water is going backwards through the pump and into your tank. So the idea of the check valve is just to close this whole area off completely from your city water, from your faucets, and everything else. So that's why the check valve is very important. There are check valves that you can install, kind of check valves in line that you can install after the pump. Um, a lot of rigs really don't have the room or the space to um, install them. So first thing to do is to take these three screws apart, take it off, and I'll show you how it looks. So what you have in front is you have your electricity going in. It's going into a little check. This So this is not just a check valve, but it's also, it knows how much pressure and it will turn the pump on and off when it gets to max pressure. So there's two things. So you're gonna take off the three screws up here on top. I already started taking them off. This piece is gonna come off and you'll see here a little white piece. If this needs to be cleaned, you just take it off and you clean it. But the big thing that needs to be cleaned is this piece. So when you take it off, just be careful, there's a spring there. So we have the spring, we have the body piece, and then when we, if we pull it out, this is our little check valve. So in this pump, the check valve is already cleaned, but if you guys can see, has a little nick right here. So the check valve itself, it's really hard to get just these gaskets for some reason, but um, this gasket was upside down. So I took off this clip and flipped it over and that way it has a base to sit on and that actually fixed the problem completely. But usually what happens is either the check valve will get stuck and there's kind of a, a rim here. So sometimes it will just get stuck on that rim and then constantly let water going through. Or, um, or just, you know, the uh, rubber gasket is completely bad. I'm sure you can kind of make things, you can search online, you can buy these. Um, but this is how you check your check valve. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.